the more hitter-friendly yards in the big leagues, a look at Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati, the 86th Midsummer Classic between the American League All-Stars and the National League All-Stars. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskirchen. Welcome to our special coverage of the Major League Baseball All-Star Game here on the show. I'll be joined in a moment by Eric Harris and Steve Lyons, but first, let's give you a look at this year's American and National League All-Star Starters. As this year, fans cast close to 400 million votes online. A staggering number. Final preparations being made down on the field. We've got a fun night in store. It's the Major League All-Star Game on the show, and it comes your way next. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. Now taking the field, welcome your 2015 National League All-Star. Briefly now, we'll look at the two men named by their managers to get the ball here to begin this All-Star game. More from the guys as this one goes along. But first, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the American League All-Stars. As Ned Yost has his guys lined up like this. And there you get a look at the starting pitcher whose job it'll be to keep these guys in check. His number is right there on the right side of your screen. And there you see a look at the defensive starters for the National League. Michael Brantley makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. find the seats down the left field line foul strike one now here it comes swing and the ball hit well to the right side but this will get into the crowd here's Kershaw's 0-2 offering tried to get him to go after the slider but it's 1-2 weather shouldn't be much of a factor 71 degrees here at game time Here comes a 1-2. On the ground now for Adrian over at first. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And there's your first out of the ball game. Victor Martinez will take his first cut to the ball game here.
first pitch on the way. This is hit on the ground with foul. One out, nobody on. Now the pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Now, how important is it going to be for this guy to throw that curveball for strikes? I don't know that he necessarily needs to ever throw it for a strike. I mean, if it's around the plate and he's getting guys to go after it, it's doing its job. But if he starts to get too high or too far outside, then it's just an easy take. And the pitch. He's fallen behind now, three and one. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. And when that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. And this is fouled back and out of play. Full count pitch on its way. And he lays off here, ball four. And he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Hey, you know what? That's all right. He gave him a pretty good battle up there, and he never gave in to him. A walk you can work around. A home run, you can't. Miguel Cabrera will get his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. Here's the first offering. And a fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. And we're going to see a lot more of this because this is a guy who's let it be known that he will work inside. He'll even back you off the plate if he has to. The 1-0 pitch. And this one's tapped foul to home plate. Ready now on one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Ready with the 2-1. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Two-two. Got him. Well, that's a good confidence builder with a runner on base here at the first. This is definitely the man to worry about in this lineup. There's little question about that, so he'll be fired up about that one. Mike Trout will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. the first pitch. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Here comes the 1-0. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Just getting deeper and deeper into trouble here in the first inning. He's walked one guy already. Now he's falling behind another guy here. on the way. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Oh. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success here. I was thinking the same thing. No free rides. You've got to make these guys earn it. Three O is on the way. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. That's the second walk he's allowed here in the first inning. And I have a feeling if you ask his manager, he's going to say that that's way too many already. You can't go giving away base runners, or you're going to find yourself in a big hole early on. Nelson Cruz will stand in now in an early RBI spot in the top of the first.
Now here's the first pitch. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stand. Pause. Now the pitch. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. One one on the way. Now a ball popped up. But room in foul ground for the catcher, Posey. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. A couple of walks, but no damage. More ahead from Great American Ballpark right after this. Starting lineup for the NL Stars looks like this. go to work against the Japanese import the heart throwing right hander Yu Darvish and in the field behind him the American League stars look like this Time for the home nine to get their swings as Carlos Gomez is ready to lead off the bottom of inning number one. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. one oh on the way and he goes down and gets this fastball and takes it high in the air to deep straightaway center and it's out of here a leadoff home run gets the home nine on the board right out of the gate it's a solo home run off the bat of Carlos Gomez and the NL is on the board first it's one to nothing And a good swing right there gets him the first run of the ball game here in the bottom of the first. And we always talk about the importance of getting off to a fast start, so you can be sure they're pretty happy about this one. Here's the center fielder, Denard Spann. He'll swing and send a line drive out to right field. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Well, this guy on the mound right now isn't fooling anybody to start this inning. The home run was clearly hammered, and this ball's hit even harder, but with just a more favorable result out there on the mound. Here's Troy Tulowitzki now. And this will be fouled away. And now a pitch on the way. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. And these guys already have one home run here in the inning. And now you get to the real power guys here. So you need to be careful. Here's the 1-1. And he comes up empty there on a pitch in the dirt and falls behind now one and two. You get that feeling? That'll be a pitch we see a lot of as this game goes along. And when he's throwing that thing good, a lot of times that's where it winds up. So these guys are going to have to prove they can lay off that thing in the dirt or they're going to keep seeing it. So two balls and two strikes now. 
Yeah, and, and he's got to be careful not to give up yet another home run here in this inning. So you can see they're approaching with caution here. Two two pitch on the way. Now a swing and a ball lofted down the right field line and fairly deep. And this will carry him over that short outfield fence down there for a ground rule double. This is a good job here of using the whole field. You see him go the other way with this pitch. No chance at all to run this thing down. And you see it take that one big hop right up and over the wall for a ground rule double. Giancarlo Stanton now as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh. The next pitch. Oh Stanton with a big swing at that one but he got there a little too quickly and this is going to hook foul. The one one. And that misses two and one. Well, with every pitch it misses, he just keeps digging himself a deeper and deeper hole. A two one offering. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Tonight. Borderline calls, you got to be swinging. Sets the 2 2 pick. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Ready with another 2 2. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Another 2-2. Two, two. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Well, nobody in that dugout is going to give him high five for striking out. But, you know, at least he forced that starter to expend a lot of energy here to get the job done. You know, in the first inning, that won't be lost on his teammates. Adrian Gonzalez will stand in here for the first time, looking to pick up that runner from second with two away here. Waits, now the pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and oh. The 1-0 -oh home. And a strike to even the count. 1-1. One and one. One one pitch on the way in for a strike and he jumps ahead one and two now very patient here to start the at bat maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit here comes the one two and there's a pitch Gonzalez takes and we're back even at two and two. Here he comes on two and two. Fouled back. The two two coming. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. Second inning coming up. It's the National League one and the American League nothing. Evan Longoria leads things off now in the top half of the second. First pitch coming. 
Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Now the pitch. And that misses downstairs for a ball. One and one. Kershaw now on one and one. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Yeah, and when that pitch starts off outside, it's much easier to get a better view of it and then just lay off. Two, one. And treading carefully with Longoria here. It's three and one now. You don't want to lose the leadoff hitter here. Not when you got this guy on deck. Now the 3-1 pitch. Fouled back. Now the 3-2 pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And a sliding effort there, but that ball had eyes, and the leadoff man's on base to start the inning. Batting seven from the Seattle Mariners, second baseman. Robinson Cano digs in at the plate. Cano waits on the first pitch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. The 1-0. Runner goes for second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Mag is there waiting for him, and Longoria is thrown out trying to steal second base. <laughs> well, you know, so much for that first hit of the game. Now he's going to try to press his luck and take second, but a good throw cuts him down. Bases are empty. One man out. The 1-1. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Well, how about strikeouts per nine last year? Clayton Kershaw, 10.85. That was the best among starters in all of baseball. That's a pretty good reason why you go 21 and three with a 177 ERA. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Well, you'll get another look at this. This ball is hit sharply, so it gets on him pretty quickly. He's able to knock it down, but they weren't going to have a play after that. That should go down as an infield single. Here's the catcher, Deonor Navarro, standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. He's set. Now the pitch. Hey. Fastball called for strike two. And on 0-2, this is where he's got you right where he wants you. He was one of 13 guys last year with over 200 strikeouts, hey, so he's probably going to be gunning for one right here. Runner at first here, one man out. He's ready now. The pitch. Two strike deliveries in the dirt. One and two now. Yeah, that's the put away curveball. A great pitch with two strikes. You start it in the zone and then let it work out and see if he'll chase. Now the one two. And Navarro swings and misses on a good pitch there, and there are two away. Well, this curveball, it just disappears. And he thinks he's right on it at the plate. Look where it winds up. Completely out of the zone. That's what you want as a pitcher. You want hitters to chase pitches that aren't strikes.
Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. One zero, and a breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's one and one. Even though that's a strike, that's still not a bad take because you're facing a guy that's already walked a few guys. So make him throw some more pitches. Run that pitch count up. The one one home run, and he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect the plate. Here's the one two in tight with the slider two and two. Uh, that's not a sight you want to see this early as a starting pitcher. 40 pitches already. The two two and a slider swung on and missed and the side is retired. AL leaves one. It remains one nothing. Anthony Rizzo will start things off in the bottom of the second. First offering on the way. And this is hit well towards the hole. Uh, he's got it well into right field. Throw on to first by Cano, and there's the first out of the inning. Buster Posey will get his first opportunity now. First pitch to him. And a cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-1. Here it comes. And that misses one and one. Yeah, that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. He loves that pitch up in the zone. Most power hitters do, so that's not a bad idea to give him one above the letters. Here's the one one. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Here it comes, two and one. Oh, and now Posey gets around on one and drives it out to deep left field. Back on it is Brantley, but this ball is gone. A home run. A solo home run for Buster Posey as the National League moves out in front here, two to nothing. That's the second home run they've hit off in two innings here tonight. He's lucky the bases have been empty both times, or he could really be off to a bad start. Well, as it is, you know, it's only 2 nothing, so not the end of the world. Johnny Hayes from the Washington Nationals. In now is Anthony Rendon. As the first pitch years have been high, it's ball one. The 1-0. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Here's the 1-1 pitch. A little bit outside. 2-1. and one. Yeah, it, it's so easy to get caught reaching on that pitch. We've seen a few of his teammates do it already. That's a great job to recognize slider and play off. 
Now the 2-1 pitch. Trying to shave that outside corner with the fastball, and he missed it. It's 3-1 and one now. Waiting on deck is Howie Kendrick. One out, nobody on. Here he comes on 3-1. Pretty well hit. Deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. The 3-2 pitch. Grounded foul off to the left, so they'll do it again. The 3-2 one more time. Now a pitch swung on and hit on the ground to Longoria at third. Throw gets him, two down. Now, you know, even though he's given up two home runs, it's only down 2 nothing. I mean, his guys can get that back in no time. Even though he probably doesn't feel too good about things, he's still very much in this ballgame. Howie Kendrick will get his first chance now, trying to get something started with two away here in the bottom of the second. Kendrick waiting, now the pitch. Too low, 1 0. Oh. 1 0 oh pitch now. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. Cruz is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So one run on one base hit, the home run, no errors and no one left. We'll go now to the top of the third. It's the National League two and the American League nothing. Garrett Cole is on and he'll take over on the mound. Michael Brantley will get a second shot now. He grounded out to start the ball game. Left fielder, Michael Brantley. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. Here's a 1-0. And, oh, he can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Well... This is a tough way to help your on-base percentage out as a leadoff hitter, but he's on base here regardless. Victor Martinez will stand in now, and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. First pitch coming. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. A runner at first with no outs here. He's gonna go. 1-0 on the way. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe out. Well, it probably wasn't the way he wanted to move the guy into scoring position, but it's going to have to do, and he's going to get that man up to second base now with one away. Miguel Cabrera will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. And here's the first pitch. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Here's the 1-0. One, -oh. one and one. Yeah, and it's tough enough to hit 95-plus mile-an-hour fastballs. That curve gives you something else to think about altogether. One, one pitch coming now to Cabrera. Outside, two and one. Here comes the 2-1. One. 
Now a ball hit hard towards the hole, and that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Well, even when you keep him in the ballpark, he can be trouble. And here he's right on this pitch, and he smokes it in the left field for a solid single. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. He takes the changeup the other way out toward right center. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. And they're on the board as now it's a 2-1 ball game. And this will come in far too late. He's in there at third. And you know, there's just so few places in the strike zone where you can keep this guy from hitting the ball hard. This is not really a bad pitch. Just a little bit down and away. But he's all over it, and he cashes in a run on the double. Here's Nelson Cruz now, as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Here's the 1-0. Here's a swing and a high pop-up drifting toward the third base dugout and oh he can't rein it in runners are at second and third with one down Get the out here. he's set now the pitch in the dirt and block behind the plate runners may have thought about it but they'll stay put and the count moves to two and one Here's the two and one pitch. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. And they know full well the threat that this guy poses. So even down three and one, I can't imagine he's going to get anything that he can drive right here. Here he comes, three one. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. That thing's coming in there hot, 96 miles an hour. Here it is. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Uh, it's pretty clear they weren't pitching around him there. Even though he's a big-time run producer, they came right at him. And he couldn't drive either one of those guys in. Evan Longoria. Big in now with a possible tying and go-ahead runs in scoring position here. Here's the first offering. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. He's living on the edge with some of these pitches here. He gets that one by him, but he might not get away with that a second time. One strike now from Cole. And this is bounced foul at the plate, and that moves the count to 0-2 now. Runners at second and third with two gone. Come set, now the pitch. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Here comes another 0-2. The next 0-2 misses, and that'll move it to 1-2 now. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty curveball. A big pitch here, 1-2. And no offer that time from Longoria. It's back to 2-2 two and two now. And when he's down 0-2, oh he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at 2-2, two and two, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. Here's the 2-2 two and two offering. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. Throw on to the first baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is over. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Bottom of the third coming up. It's the National League 2 and the American League 1. Anibal Sanchez will come in and pitch now. American League, number 19, Anibal Sanchez.
back to the top of the order now. And standing in the speedy Carlos Gomez. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Pitch on the way. Now the one strike pitch is sent on the ground to Cano at second base. And a good throw gets him one gone. Denard Span will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. First pitch coming now from Sanchez. And they start him with one high and away for ball one. Now the 1-0 pitch. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. And he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. and The 2-0 on the way. Over the outside half, and it's 2-1. and one. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93-94. That's plenty hard enough to blow it by guys when you need to. 2-1 pitch on its way to Span. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. And easy take there, and it's 3-1 and one now. You figure he should get something good to hit here. They don't want to walk him and put him on for the heart of the order. Cabrera there for this one is short. On to first, and Sanchez has got it working now. There are two away. Troy Tulowitzki will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. First pitch coming. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. Now here it comes. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. The 0-2 now from Sanchez. Fouled straight back. Another 0-2 coming. A ball and two strikes now to the 2014 All-Star. You got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. <laughs> so would the guy on the mound. Now the pitch. He'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's another one, two. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two. Grounded foul down the line, so he'll tee it up again. Here he comes again, 1-2. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's 2-2 two and two now. And this is where he gets so tough. He's seen everything you've got, but you've still got to make one more good pitch to get him out. And the slider misses here, so he runs the count full, 3-2. and two. Ah, And this guy won't lay down here because there's two outs and nobody on. He's putting up a good fight. And now this will be the 10th pitch of the at-bat. Here's the payoff pitch. And that one's taken outside for a ball. We walked him. So no 1-2-3 inning here. They've got themselves a two-out base runner. Guys, that's just an amazing at-bat right there. All that guy on the mound wants to do is find that one put-away pitch and get him back in the dugout. But try as he might, he never could find it. And he winds up not only losing this guy, but taking up a big chunk of his stamina to do it. Giancarlo Stanton 
will dig in now, hoping to perhaps make him pay for the two-out walk. Now the first pitch. He's running towards second. Pitch outside the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. And with two outs, this was an excellent spot to try to take second base. The worst case scenario is if you get thrown out, you allow a good hitter to come back and lead off the next inning. Now you give that same good hitter an opportunity to drive you in with just a base hit. Now the 1-0. -oh. No offer at the curveball either. It's 2-0. Oh. Hey, it's danger any way you look at it right here. You've got a base open but you've got an even better hitter waiting on deck. So I don't think I'd be working around this guy. I'd be forced to go right after him. Now the 2-0 home. Oh, he checked his swing there and pops this one up. And Cabrera will make the catch to retire the side. We'll see Robinson Cano when we come back. Three innings complete. The NL's on top, 2-1. Cole Hamels will be the new pitcher. And here is Robinson Cano. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Robinson Cano. And this one's ball not one close. It's in the dirt for ball one. The 1-0 -oh pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Here's the 1-1 now to Cano. Now a half swing here on the pitch inside, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the home plate umpire. Strike two. One, two. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now another one, two. That one misses, and I think a ballpark full of umpires disagrees. It's two and two. I think that's consistent with how the strike zone gets called nowadays. That's a strike in the rule book, but most umpires won't give you that pitch anymore. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. On a big swing by Cano as he lifts this one high and deep out to right field. And that one is out of here. Planted into the right field bleachers. Robinson Cano, a solo home run, as the American League has come back now to tie. Here's the catcher, Deonor Navarro. Deonor. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Nice going up. Here comes the 1 0. And this one's over for a high strike, one and one. You can't try to outthink him up there. Just get a good pitch and square it up. Two runs, five hits. No errors thus far for the American League. And he gets him to lift one into shallow center field. And that's going to fall for a base hit. As we look at that again, you know, this is not a bad pitch by any stretch. If he throws this pitch ten times, I bet he gets him out nine of them. But here you just have to tip your cap to the guy at the plate. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. And there he goes towards second. 
that swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. And right here, you've got the right fielder shading just a bit towards the alley. And I thought he'd have too far to go to get this ball, but he does close quickly out there, and he makes the play near the line. Here's Michael Brantley. Now a fastball. Look out as he has to duck out of harm's way there. It looked like he was giving him the evil eye down there, and I can't say I blame him. Yeah, well, he's already been plunked once, and I don't think he's going to stand for too much more of that. 1-0 on the way. Inside corner, a ball and a strike. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's 1-2 and two now. Runner at first here with one away in a 2-2 ball game. Here's the lefties offering on one and two. I had to protect on one and two, and this is a fly ball out to straightaway right field. Under it now is Stanton to make the catch, and there are two away now. Victor Martinez will step in. A ground out victim is last time. Now the first pitch. And there's the fastball by Hamels. Good for strike one. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Now an off-speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. Sometimes if you let that changeup go too soon, it'll take off on you. He's lucky that didn't hit him. Man at first with two out in a 2-2 ball game. The 1-1 to Martinez. Up high. 2-1 now. Whoa, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Here's a ground ball to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. But a run scores in the inning, and that'll have to be good enough as this solo home run knocks things up. Bottom of the fourth coming up, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Your attention, please. Now New pitcher coming on now, and it's the former number, number one overall pick from 2007, David, David Price. Adrian Gonzalez will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Low for ball one. Now Gonzalez awaits the 1-0. And this is lifted the other way to left center. Brantley will wait on it. And he's got it for the first out. Anthony Rizzo hand in. He grounded out his first time. Here's the first pitch to him. Lefty against lefty here as this is taken for a ball. 1-0. Oh. Well, that's a pretty good spot to try and lock him up inside, but you know, he can turn on that location if that's out over the plate. Bases are empty, one man out. The next pitch. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0.
Now the 2-0. And this will be fouled away. Here he comes on two and one. Here we go. Ball three. three. Ball. A former MVP waiting on deck in the form of Buster Posey. Three one on the way. Fastball too low, and that's ball four. Buster Posey. We'll see if he can do it again. He homered his first time around. First pitch on the way. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Price ready with the 0-1. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Cano for one. On to Cabrera at first. It's a twin killing, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. On to the top of inning number five we go, and we are tied 2-2. Homer Bailey is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Number 34, Homer Bailey. Miguel Cabrera will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. Now here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Mike Trout will dig in. He doubled home a run last time around. Here's the first offering. Trout with a big swing, but he jumped out a bit too much as this one will curl foul. Now here's the pitch. No swing on the knuckle curve, even at one and one. Two runs, six hits. No errors thus far for the American League. Here's Trout waiting on the 1-1. One, one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to 1-2 and two now. The right-hander deals on 1-2. and two. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. And obviously, any time you can strike this guy up, you'll take it. I mean, he runs like a greyhound. So even routine grounders can sometimes be turned into base hits. Not when you're not making contact, though. Here's Nelson Cruz now. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. That's his strength. He wants to try and come in and, and jam you, so you've got to be ready to try and turn on something. The 1-0. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Now the 1-1. One, one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Ready on two and one. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there. It's three and one now. The three one is on the way. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. And that's not the first time he's had the bat taken out of his hands. 
You see right there, a lot of pitchers just said, hey, with an open base, forget about it. I'm going to let the next guy try to beat me. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria, as he'll swing and lift a foul ball off to the left and out of play. Has a look, now the pitch. And Longoria swings right through that one as he's behind 0-2 now. He showed him that slider running away two times in a row. Now might be a good time to call him that two-seamer running in. A runner on first with two away. From the belt, the pitch. Slider, good two-strike pitch, but it misses one and two. The one-two. And no offer that time from Longoria. It's back to two and two now. Here's the two and two home. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. In danger now of a second walk out of the bullpen. Not exactly providing relief. He's got to find it here somehow. Two out with the man at first. Here's the full count offering. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. That is just a great at-bat right there. Anytime you go from down 0-2 in the count to working out a walk, well, let me tell you, that ain't easy to do. And that's all about having a really good feel for the strike zone. The second baseman, Robinson Cano. We'll see what he can do here with two on and two out here in inning number five. Now here's the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And with two walks in the inning already, he can't afford to fall behind anybody else if he wants to stay in the game. Two men are on with two men out. The 1-0 home. Now a swing and a fly ball. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. AL leave a pair. Halfway home, tied to a piece. Chris Tillman will come in and pitch now. now. Pitching for the American League, number 30, Chris Tillman. Anthony Rendon will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch here misses wide, 1 and 0. Oh. One -oh. Here's a changeup that's right there, one and one. The one one home. Now here's a ground ball that'll get by the mound and into center field for a leadoff single. Yeah, nothing too special about a ground ball single up the middle here, but if you keep putting the ball in play like they've been doing. Good things have a tendency to happen. We'll see if this gets him started. Howie Kendrick will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. Kendrick waiting. Now the pitch. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Two two is our score. Leadoff man aboard at first here with nobody out. One zero pitch now, and that's off his leg on the mound. And now, fortunately, they will get it out here. 
on to Cabrera, and it's a double play. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Carlos Gomez will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. Now here's the first pitch. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Two out, nobody on. Here's a 1 0. Here and Gomez not biting on that one either. It's 2 0 now. Well, he's looking like he's a little too amped up out there. He's got to channel that a little more because that pitch wasn't that close. Here comes the 2 0. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Here's Tillman on two and one. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Here comes a two two. Full count, three and two. Denard Spann would be next. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's the three-two pitch. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. The next three-two. Ball swung on and lifted in the air with some carry out towards left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing there for the National League. Through five, all even at 2-2. Two -two. Francisco Rodriguez will get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. DeYonder Navarro will dig in now. One for two to this point. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball. One and oh. The 1-0. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Here comes the 1-1. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. The 2 1. And this is fouled straight back. Now the 2 2 pitch. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Another try at 2 2. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. And this is a nice job so far out of that number eight hole. Taking some pitches, trying to get on, leading off the inning.
3-2, here it comes. And maybe an excuse me swing there as this is tapped in front of the mound. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. So the leadoff man sat down here for Esdrubal Cabrera. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. First offering on the way. There's the hard stuff from K-Rod to start him out. It's nothing in one. Here's the pitch. That's in there as well. It's a quick 0-2 count. The pitch. And this is swung out and missed. So it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Here's a good shot from behind home plate. You can see what the hitter sees. A lot of arms, a lot of legs flying around. You know, those were always the guys that were tough to face because it makes it tough to pick up the ball. Here's Michael Brantley. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Here's the 1-0. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now the one and one pitch. Hard hit towards center. Spam is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One, two, three, go the American League. Home half of the sixth inning coming up, deadlocked at two apiece. Zach Duke will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the sixth. Number 33, Zach Duke. Denard Spann will step in. He's lined out and grounded out in two trips. And yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Woo! Here's the 1-0. Here and Span will watch another one miss. It's 2-0 now. Here comes the 2-0. Outside, 3-0 now. And it goes without saying, but this has to be in the strike zone. You don't want him on base to start off the inning. Here comes the 3-0. That one's in there, 3-1. Yeah, a much better pitch there than the one he threw on 2-0. The 3-1 coming. And that one misses. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. And he's saying, give me a break. And that pitch is right there. And I tell you, though, complaining like that is only going to squeeze that strike zone a little more. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And danger now is standing in as the fine shortstop, Troy Tulowitzki. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. And here's a fastball from Duke to get things started. It's nothing and one. Maybe a spot to pitch out on 0 and 1. 
Well, I think he wants to go, no doubt. Might not be too bad an idea. Pause, now the pitch. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. Yeah, the best way to neutralize this guy's power, just keep putting pitches right there. From the stretch. Well, just a touch outside, one and two. I, I don't think there are too many guys in this lineup that, that could have laid off that 0-2 pitch. Uh, that's a real tough take. Span the runner at first with nobody out. Here comes a 1-2 nope. to two balls and two strikes now. Uh, he, he's hoping to just run that heater by him. So he's ramped up the velocity here the last two pitches. Two-two pitch on the way. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Yeah, I don't think this is a guy you want to mess with here. He can hurt you in more ways than one. He waits. Now the pitch. Fastball. Got him looking. As that had two seam action on it. One gone. Kind of hard to think that he wouldn't have had an idea that a fastball might be coming here. But judging by his reaction, I should say lack of reaction, I guess not. Giancarlo Stanton now. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. That change up away is his ground ball pitch. That's a good job to hold off. One oh on the way. Ball two now. And you wonder if he's feeling just a little bit distracted having that base dealer over there at first base. Sometimes just the threat of a steal can really mess with your head out there. Two well count the pitch chopped to third tough to get two on to first and there were two down this is always a tough play for a charging third baseman everything's got to go right and you see the good transfer then the sidearm fling off of the right foot and he does a nice job of getting enough on that throw to make the play here's Adrian now as the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. Tough spot here for a left-handed hitter, facing a guy that's exceptionally tough on lefties. Yeah, you generally get so many at-bats against right-handed pitching. Now you're in a good RBI spot, and you're stuck facing a guy like this. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Looks like he's not going to see anything here. Yeah, I don't think so either. They gave him two shots to see if he'd go out of the zone to try to chase. And after that, I'm thinking they should just put him on. Hitters count 2-0. and oh. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. Out of here! He was a wall scraper, but it counts just the same. A home run. It's a two-run dinger for Adrian Gonzalez. And it's given the National League a four-to-two lead. Well, when you start relying on one pitch out there to become a one-pitch pitcher, there's no doubt in the hitter's mind what's coming. He's sitting on this one all the way, and he launches it right over the wall. Anthony Rizzo stands in now as he'll take a breaking ball too low and it's 1 0. Now the 1 0. Here's a breaking ball that falls in there for a strike to even things at 1 and 1. That's such a good pitch to get ahead. Lefty on lefty. It's a big looping curveball. Makes it very difficult for the hitter to try and time what's coming next. Ready now on one and one. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Oh, come on. The ball flying around the yard in this one as you see so far there.
Here comes the one two. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two run home run. The two three four hitters now to start the seventh. It's the National League four and the American League two. Welcome back to Baseball on the Show. National Leaguers leading this one as we get ready for the seventh. But first, let's have a look at our game summary for the first six innings. But Troy Hawkins is on the pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven. Eric Kratz is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Yeah, hard to believe that's not a strike. I don't know exactly where that would have missed. The 1-0 pitch. And this ball skied in the air out to Span in center. And he's got it for out number one. You see this ball start slicing away from him toward the end here, but he winds up staying right with it, running it down. Billy Butler will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Well, you know, if there's anybody in this lineup capable of getting a rally started, this is the guy right here. Seventh inning here at the ballpark, 4-2 our score. Here's the 1-0 pitch now to Butler. Now a good swing there by Butler, but the timing's just a bit off as this is pulled foul down the line and left. Here's the 1-1. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. The 2-1 home. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. One out, nobody on. Two-two. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball as it holds at two and two. Sets the 2-2 two -two pitch. Now a ball lying towards center field. And Butler's got himself a base hit. Whoa, that's what you call chuck and duck right there. This ball's going to come screaming right back at him. He doesn't have any time to get the glove up, and it gets safely on into center field. Joanna Cespedes will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 52. Swing and a line drive to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Well, he got that first out easy enough when he came on. But now it's back-to-back -back hits here with one away. So he's going to have to bear down now and make sure that this thing doesn't get any worse. Adam Jones will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 10, Adam Jones. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. And that's in there for strike one. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going.
first and second now, one man out. He's ready now, the pitch. Now a swing and a little tapper to the left of the mound. And they get the force for the second out. But wisely, no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. And no real harm in this defensively. Instead of trying for two up the middle, he says, hey, why don't I just flip this thing over to third and get that lead runner? You know, it's a little bit unconventional, but gets you a step closer to getting out of the inning. Chase Headley will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 12, Chase Headley. Swung on and lifted into shallow center field. Span is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. AL leave a pair, still down by a count of four to two. Billy Butler will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Now playing first base. Number six. Yoannis Cespedes will stay in the ballgame as he takes over in center. Number 52, Cespedes. Adam Jones will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Chase Headley is going to go ahead and stay in the ballgame and play third now. Houston Street will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seven. Houston Street. Buster Posey will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. Flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Bottom three in the batting order here as the first pitch misses to the number seven hitter. It's ball one. Well, I need to see that again because it looked like he flat missed that call behind the plate. Now the 1-0 pitch. This one's a strike. It's one and one. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. Navarro the sign, the 1-1. One, one. And a sinker dips yeah, too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Go, Ready with the 2-1. This ball's grounded foul. Here he comes on two and two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. He knows the drill out there. you got to make him swing the bat. To not be giving up walks at this stage of the game, because those could be fatal. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. And a flip to first from Cabrera in time for the first down. Anthony Rendon will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. First pitch to him. And a bouncing ball foul. And we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Now the pitch. Sinker, one ball, one strike. Bases are empty, one man out. The 1-1. One, one. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. 
So one and two with one away. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. He'll try again, one, two. The one, two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. The two, two. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. Another 2-2 two -two offering. Good fight to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for rap number two. A pretty good late break to this 2-2 two -two pitch. And we'll see on swing track. He just doesn't gauge the movement very well. And swings right over the top. Here's Howie Kendrick. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. And he's probably not going to throw too many first pitch changeups. That's a pretty darn good call. Come on! Kendrick waiting, now the pitch. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. You don't want guys to get too comfortable up there, so that's a good idea to run something in tight. One one on the way. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Now the two one. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The NL leads this one four to two. Your attention, please. Now Call to the bullpen now is on comes the right-hander Jonathan Papelbon. Robinson Cano will dig in. He homered back in the fourth. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Applebond firing away here. It's nothing in one. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. Cano waiting on the 0-1. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. I'll say this. He wasn't going to get his arms extended on that one. One-one pitch on the way. On they'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Yeah, that's in a great spot, too. Just hard, late movement working down and in. Now the one-two. Here's a ball hit foul down the third baseline, so they'll try it again. Another 1-2 delivery. Swing and a ball hit hard to third. And a high throw to Adrian as it's over his head. dangerous here for a first baseman. This throws high and it's to the home plate side of the bag. So when he leaves his feet, he's really exposing himself to that runner coming down the line. The overthrow, that was bad enough, but a collision there would have really been bad news. The honor Navarro will stand in now in what could be a real make or break situation. 
and you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. First pitch coming. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. He's set, now the pitch. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this will land foul. O2 now from Papelbon. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. And even on O2, you don't want guys to get into a comfort level up there. Getting late, 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. Here's the one-two. In tight with the slider, two and two. Well. He almost hit him on the last pitch, and he's showing he doesn't care. He's coming right back inside. The 2-2 coming. Fouled toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Two, two, one more time. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Now look there at our all-star line score. The National League leading this one in the eighth over their American League rivals in a game that's certainly been an entertaining one to this point. Elvis Andrews will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number one. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. Uh, I don't think there's any intent with that. That might be just to let him know that he's out there. Here comes the 1-0. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. And that'll get on past to Lewitsky. It's a base hit. They continue to rack up the hits. That puts runners on first and second now. But, as we always say, it's what you do with all those base runners that's important. And so far, they haven't done a whole lot. Let's take a look at our score. Lorenzo Kane will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Lorenzo Jose Altuve will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Number 27, Jose Altuve. Come on, try the double. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Get the strike out, man! Come set, now the pitch. Right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. Turn two now, let's go! He's set, now the pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. That is a big time to come up with a strike on a tight game like this. Still got that tying run over there at first, but the two away now, you don't necessarily need a ground ball to get you out of this. Osmil Pinto will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. And 
They'll start him with a slider that's taken down and away for ball one. That man's team has definitely shot itself in the foot with all the strikeouts so far. It seems like it's been a growing trend so far, but man, you've just got to be able to put the ball in play when you've got runners in scoring position. Two down, runners at first and second. Get him down. 1-0 on the way. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at 1-1. One and one. And after that call, you know he's got to be turning around to say something like, hey, you know what? This guy doesn't need any help. Here's Papelbon's 1-1. One, one. Inside and low, 2-1. And one. and one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Two one to two and two now. Here's the two and two offering. Got him swinging on the splitter that time, and with that, the side is retired. AL leave a pair. They trail it here, four to two. Elvis Andrews will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. Now playing shortstop, number one. Lorenzo Kane will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Number six, Lorenzo Kane. Jose Altuve will stay in the ball game now as he comes on to play second here. Glenn Perkins is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Starling Marte is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. Trying to work that slider to the outer half, but it misses 1-0. The 1-0. Comes back with a bullet of a fastball. That's in there, 1-1. One one. That's a two-seam fastball right there. It looks to the hitter like it's going to be inside, and then it tails back to the inside corner of the plate. The 1-1. One he one. ties him up with a fastball inside, 1-2. and two. Boy, he sure can sling that thing, can't he? He sure can. A very wide arm angle comes from the first base side. It's not straight either. It's moving. One, two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Whoa, but that's just self-defense as he spears it through the out. Two-seam fastball that time. He got decent contact on it, but he didn't really extend through it. And this turns into an easy little lineup. Juan Ligares will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. And this is popped fouled off to the right and back into the seats. And the pitch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And now this is swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Kane is camped under this one. And that's out number two. Young Herbis Solarte will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Here we go. 
grounded foul. Here it comes. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Now here it comes. Fouled straight back. There's the lefties offering on one and two. Lays off two and two now. Yeah, that pitch, it's coming back hard with a lot of tail to it, but it just can't get in quite far enough. Here's the two and two home. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Full count offering on its way. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Another payoff pitch. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Wow, just a great at-bat right there. Simple as that. Patient, laid off some tough pitches. He was rewarded. And we're going to have a pinch hitter come on here as the youngster Matt Kemp has grabbed a bat and moved into the on-deck circle. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Ready? Now the pitch. In tight again, and it's to 2-0 and now. And now with a 2-0 count, both pitches have been in. This might be where you say, all right, I'm going to let it fly if this next one's middle away. Here's the 2-0 pitch. 3-0 and oh now. And he's got to be up there thinking, come on already. Give me something to hit. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And it's gone. Green light was on, 3-0, and he didn't miss it. So it's a two-run shot for Matt Kemp as they open it up to 6-2 to two now. might just earn their closer an extra day of rest right here. That makes this a four-run game now, and with the top of the ninth looming, it would make that a non-save situation. So I wouldn't be surprised if he just stays out there in the bullpen at least until anybody gets on. Koji Uahara will come on here looking to get the final out in the home half of inning number eight. Jonathan Lucroy will come on as a pinch hitter. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. Here's the pitch. And this is lined into left field. And a welcome to the ball game there as he's got himself a pinch hit single. Some guys, you almost do them a favor if you pitch away from them. Here, he's just doing what he does best. 
great balance here. Good swing path, and he drives it the other way. A.J. Pierzynski will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Come set, now the pitch. Now he turns on a fastball and sends it deep down the right field line. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Ninth inning coming up. National Leaguers out in front, 6-2. to two. Starling Marte will stay in the ballgame now and take over in left field. Now playing left field. Number six. One Ligaris will stay in the ballgame as he.